Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be discussing some of the most commonly repeated questions in different one day exams. Here in this video we will cover approx 25 most important questions from modern history on governor general and viceroys of India. Hopefully some questions may appear from this particular topic in your upcoming exams. Even if a single question strikes from this lecture, it may help you in achieving a better rank in your exams. So I request you students to make a habit by making a notes after watching any videos on YouTube which will help you to revise it in future. So let's directly switch to our topic without delaying anymore. So today's our first question is, who was the first governor general of India? The right answer of this question is option number B, that is Lord William Bentick. The second question is, who was the first governor of Bengal? The right answer of this question is option number D, that is Lord Warren Hastings. Our third question is, which Governor General of India introduced permanent settlement? The right option is option number A, that is Lord Cornwallis. Fourth question is, which Governor General of India introduced subsidiary alliance system? The right answer is option number B, that is Lord Cornwallis. Our fifth question is, who was the first Viceroy of India? The right answer is option number C, that is Lord Canning. Our sixth question is, which Viceroy of India introduced financial decentralization in India? The right answer is option number B, that is Lord Mayo. Our seventh question is, which Viceroy of India is known as father of local self-government of India? The right option is option number first, that is A, Lord Ripon. Eighth question is, which Governor General of India introduced the doctrine of lapse? The right option is option number B, that is Lord Dalhousie. Ninth question is, who is known as the father of civil service in India? The right option is option number C, that is Lord Cornwallis. Our tenth question is, who was the last Governor General of India? The right option is option number D, that is Lord Canning. Then we have question number 11. Which Governor General of India introduced Madras Presidency? The right option is option number B, that is Lord Wellesley. Then our twelfth question is who, is, who is known as the father of Indian Railway? The right option is option number B, that is Lord Dalhousie. Our thirteenth question is who was the Viceroy of India? when Calcutta, Bombay, and Madras universities were established. The right option of this question is option number C, that is Lord John Lawrence. Then we have 14th question. Which Governor General of India is known as the father of modern Western education in India? The right answer of this question is option number B, that is Lord William Bentick. Then we have 15th question. Who was the Viceroy of India when Indian National Congress was established? The answer of this question is option number C, that is Lord Dufferin. Our 16th question is Who was the Governor General of India when Swadeshi movement occurred in Bengal? The right answer of this question is option number B, that is Lord Minto Siken. Then we have 17th question. Who was the longest serving Governor General or 
Viceroy of India? The right answer of this question is option number A, that is Lord Linlithgow. A tenth question is Who was the Viceroy of India when Simon Commission arrived in India in the year 1927? Here the right answer is option number C, that is Lord Irwin. Nineteenth question is Who was the last Viceroy of India. The answer of this question is option number B, that is Lord Mountbatten. Then we have 20th question. Who was the last Indian governor of Free India? The answer of this question is option number B, that is C. Rajikopalacharya. 21th question is Who was the Viceroy of India? when the capital of India shifted from Calcutta to Delhi? The right answer is option number D, that is Lord Harding. Our 22nd question is, which Governor General of India abolished the Sati Pratha in the year 1829? The right answer of this question is option number C, that is Lord William Bentick. Next, our 23rd question is Which Viceroy set the Hunter Commission for Educational Reforms in India in the year 1882? The answer of this question is option number B, that is Lord Ripon. Our next question is question number 24. Who was the only Viceroy to be murdered in the office? The right answer of this question is option number D, that is Lord Mayo. Now our last question is question number 25, that is Who was the Viceroy of India at the time of Indian independence? The right answer of this question is Option number A, that is Lord Mountbatten. This ends our today's video. Hopefully you may get some additional information from this video. So if any improvement has to do in the video, then please let me know in the comment box. I will incorporate your suggestions in my upcoming videos.